<laughs> I want to go back to words for a bit. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and talk about words a bit more, if I may, in that you come from a tradition from the 19th century through Europe. Well, not, not really. No, 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 the tradition. <laughs> Please. The tradition. You don't come from the 19th century. <laughs> but it's informed your love of poetry and language and words and the way that you particularly have a power of using words. Yeah. We have a generation that's grown up in front of the television. Yeah. What do we do? What do you do? What do I do? What, do we, what does a young actor do who says, okay, I've listened to Christopher Plummer, and he says it took him years to actually find the power and simplicity within, within the words. What do I do as a young actor? <clears throat> oh, God. You know, sometimes I just shrug. I, I, I can't begin to sort of start advising people or being pompous or being boring about it. I don't know what's going to happen about words. Words aren't a part of our life anymore, unfortunately. Everything is whittled down to just, just the essential wor wordage. And of course, the English language is now, even in England, has taken on a whole new thing, and Americanisms, and, uh, which are happening all the time, even in England. So it's another language. It's not even the English that I knew when I grew up not even the contemporary English I knew when I grew up. So I've lost all much hope that we're going to hear Shakespeare again. And I don't mean declaimed, and I don't mean hammed up, and I don't mean somebody, some boring actor listening to himself being sounding beautiful. I don't mean that at all. I mean genuinely people who know how to read the verse so that they're making that moment so real and so important and championing the language that they're speaking. I don't think we're going we're to ever see that again. I don't see how we could because it's not taught, it's not encouraged, and nobody's interested. And yet when they see you in a film, we could talk about film because you, again, you adjust a film very well, but again, I see you use words in a way that betrays the root from which you come, as it were. Yeah. And I don't see that in other, there are wonderful <laughs> film actors out there from the younger oh, generation, God, of yeah. course there are. Oh, yeah. But I don't see that word power from them. No, I, a couple, couple may have a, an instinct about it. I've seen that happen sometimes. I can't remember uh, exactly who, uh, Russell Crowe, for example, has it. Yep. There's a perfect example of a, a dynamic personality on the screen who is in every way a star actor. Uh, versatile. No one, no one, I don't think, is as versatile as Russell. He can get the subtleties of each character so strongly that mm -hmm. he doesn't have to almost work at it. It's just extraordinary. Uh, but he uses, he knows how to use words. And I don't know that he, I, I know he grew up. He's a New Zealander, isn't he? No, he, he, in New Zealand, but he's an Aussie, really. I mean, he's Aussie, he's lived in Australia. I think he was originally a New Zealander who lived in Aussie most of his life, so he's really counted as an Australian. And uh, I think he did some theater work as a youngster, but it, it looks like he did because that's the way he acts. He seems to have a knowledge of words and not, knows how to string them together. And, I, and his sense of music and his, his ear is so tuned um, that I think he would be able to do it. 